we look at the eight weeks you're here as a gift. We want to make the most of it. The AMP program, it's one of our flagship programs. It's been around since the 1940s. In fact, it's the oldest exec program in the world. There are over 25,000 alums all over the world of this program. And all of this began when someone addressed the question about when is the right time to learn in business. And the answer to that question was all the time. For many of you, these next eight weeks are going to be a transformational experience. The AMP program is an immersion program for eight weeks. You are all in. We want leaders who are on the way up. They've practiced leadership. They're successful. They're considered high potential, impactful leaders in their organization. And the program is designed to really round you out in thinking about what is it gonna mean to be really operating in and around the C-suite. And for that, they want to have that sensibility that transcends one single function I'm a finance or a marketing or an operations person. It's able to stitch it all together and see the big picture while also being able to dive deep into any one of those domains as and when needed. It's about moving out of your context and it's moving beyond all the day-to-day -day things that need your attention. And when you have an array of leaders, each of whom comes from very different backgrounds, that's what makes AMP special. It provides you with this global network of human beings who you will relate to for the rest of your business life. I had my yellow bean duffel bag over my shoulder and a backpack, and it was just like going back to college. And it was clearly a shared moment of, I'm nervous, you're nervous, but we're gonna, we're gonna get through this all right. You're in a new place, without your families, uh, without the trappings of what you may be used to, and you're gonna be in a classroom where you're expected to speak in class. Remember, the beauty here is there's no right answers. You can get away with anything. <laughs> well, not quite. Because then you're gonna have somebody coming to say, why do you think that? Help me understand why would you believe that to be true? So be ready to defend your positions. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna be living with eight other strangers from every corner of the globe you never even heard of before. No one arrives at Harvard lightly, and I think that once you're here and you recognize that you've all got something to bring, then I think that it very quickly gels together. There's a lot of shared experience. The central unit in the AMP is the living room. Those individuals who are living together, so you have personal space with a common space for each living room. So they're living in a diverse team, so they're trying to practice team leadership right there in the moment. The living groups are constructed very carefully to maximize the diversity of inputs. We went from being a study group to now considering ourselves family. You very soon begin to see the advantages of working and learning through the living groups. It's a brilliant, brilliant way of helping us kind of form our, our ideas and broaden our perspectives, and it's a very intentional piece of AMP, very unique. It was just a facility perfectly laid out for the integration of the community, the work group, but also your privacy to study and get the work done. What a beautiful space it is. It is encased in glass, which is really about bringing natural light in. And then we, of course, have beautiful classrooms, which give us access to the latest technology, but also amazing acoustics and a space where we can have our case discussions. The classroom is designed in a way that every person can engage everybody else. It allows the participants to engage with 80 other participants in the classroom. The Harvard Business School case study method has been our religion for 100 years now. It's a very powerful approach because you can have all the theoretical frameworks and all the models, but unless those models and frameworks give you traction, 
in the real world, they're of no use. What it does is that it forces you to justify the, the solutions that you propose. Because just like the real world, you're going to make decisions and you need to be able to, to, to substantiate why these decisions are made. And I think the case study facilitates that sort of thinking. So you've got to make sure you understand the fundamentals because the cases will build each time. And often it's not a right or wrong answer, it's a judgment. And the way you get to a best judgment is probing, inquiry, and dialogue. And that's what we're doing all day long with the cases. What I think makes AMP a unique experience is what the courses collectively do. As the classes progress, every class looks like a discussion on leadership, which is the way it should be. When I teach strategy in the advanced management program, it's truly a distinctive way leaders can add value to a business. So what we're doing is talking not only about strategy as a concept or an idea, but strategy implemented in a company and more importantly, leading that charge. I teach a module on market-facing functions. The way we cover it is from a general manager's perspective. And it's less about making them experts in either marketing or in sales or in service, but more on how to leverage these market-facing functions in order to make sure that the firm performance is enhanced and improved. The most important thing I think we do in the negotiation course is to Let's take a step back and think about not just the dynamic in the room, but also how do you arrange the chessboard in a way that gives you an advantageous place by the time you go to the room. And this idea that the negotiation is bigger than just the bargaining table is something we really try to pursue in this negotiation module in AMP. I teach in the Biggie department, which is business, government, and the international economy. We look at national economic strategy. We look at economic performance. We look at the institutions that govern the, the economy, and we look at the social and political context. And we try to understand whether or not the strategy fits the context and how it's likely to affect the performance. So we'll see as the course goes on, their way of thinking will get deeper and deeper. What I've gotten out of AMP is a really unique experience. I think what I didn't expect that has come through is I've learned how to broaden my perspective about the topics that we cover in class. And the thing I'm going to take back to the UK is you are the chief strategist in your organisation. It's not a job you can outsource to anybody else. And I'm going to do it now with a more discerning eye. AMP has allowed me to view each business decision from a different perspective. I'm not just looking at it from my own angle, but from the angle of all the stakeholders that will be impacted by that decision. What you're adding is diversity of perspective all the way along. And when they say, what's going to be different when you go back? It's inviting more people into the conversation. They really become sort of citizens of the world in a way that they weren't before. And it's because of the AMP that that this transformation happens. The takeaway for me is the importance of uh, self-awareness and also you know, self-reflection. Harvard brings the best out of you. And I really think AMP brought the best in me. Graduation is bittersweet, actually. It's sweet because you're going home after eight weeks away, you're getting back to your life, your family, your colleagues. But it's bitter because, you know, people have by this time formed real connections with the faculty and with each other. The value that we'll all take from each other will be not tactical business issues, but personal advice. Challenges we're having with leadership questions, personal development, because there's a bond of trust there with that group. I mean, you, you roll up your sleeves for eight weeks and you're working with people so closely, you trust each other. And more than anything else, I think the participants leave here, I would like to believe, with a better sense of judgment, greater self-confidence, and a sense of assurance that, you know, I feel I have been exposed to a breadth of situations and contexts that nothing can surprise me anymore. I feel greater self-confidence that I am better equipped for taking on even greater roles in my organization.